I declare bankruptcy! I was never in this for the money. But it turns out that the money was an absolute necessity for me. He's always been terrible with money. I bet it's Jan spending them straight to the poorhouse. Yeah, women be shopping. I can't believe he has a second job. He's not even good at his first one. Hey, guys. What you talking about? Okay, I know what's going on. I'm talking about Jim and Pam. If they're having sex, what it looks like. I know. Michael. I think, hey, hey, hey. Michael? Are you having money problems? Monkey problems? No, I'm not having monkey problems. Why would I have monkey problems? I know you heard me correctly. Oh, I hate monkeys. What's going on? Why do you have a second job? I don't have a second job. Maybe I am having an affair with Suzanne Summers. Doesn't Jan have money? I don't talk to my girlfriend about money. It is rude and unsexual. True. It's best to hide our money problems from women. I totally agree with you. But I don't have money problems. I, that... All right, you know what? Watch this. If I had money problems, would I do this? Well, you just put it in your pocket. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, but I destroyed it. It's it's not even usable anymore. I'm going to give you a piece of paper. I want you to write down how much you want, and I want you to slide it back across the desk to me. Why can't I just tell you? Because that is the way these things are done in films. Now slide, slide it, yes. Oh, come on, be serious. I am serious, Mike, that's a 10% raise, that's I, what I want. I can't give you that, I, I don't make this much. Come on, be for real, Mike. I don't. I'll prove it to you. There is pay stub. <laughs> Are you serious? You earning this? Plus perks, yes. Mike, this is barely more than I make. You've been here ten years, dog. <laughs> Fourteen years. Oh. No, please, please. Oh, I'm don't. sorry, Mike. Some more folks got to hear about this one. Ah. <laughs> okay, let's take fifteen again. A boss's salary isn't just about money, it is about perks. It, for example, every year I get a $100 gas card. Can't put a price tag on that. Michael, hmm. here's the uh, $15 I owe you. No, thank you. Yeah, I heard you might need it, so. Here's the $40 you gave me. I didn't give you $40. In a way you did. Yeah. I heard how much Michael makes. I still think he's way overpaid. I declare bankruptcy! Hey, I just wanted you to know that you can't just say the word bankruptcy and expect anything to happen. I didn't say it, I declared it. Still, that's, it's not anything. This is a lot of credit card debt. Yeah, tell me about it. Mm -hmm. You know, Jan has my credit cards and she's using them as if I'm made of money. She thinks I'm a human ATM machine. Okay, $125, Amazon. Oh, Best of the Muppet Show on DVD, classic. $1,200, what's a core blaster extreme? That is by far the best way to strengthen your core. This machine, you sit on a stabilizer ball, you put your feet into the power stirrups, you reach up and you grab onto the super rod and you twist and you twist and you twist. It strengthens your entire core, your back core, your arm core, your, the Marine Corps actually uses it. I think that's how they got core. Okay, the green bar is what you spend every month on stuff you need, mm -hmm. like a car and a house. That's so cool, hey, I have my name at the top. The red bar is what you spend on non-essentials, like magazines, entertainment, right. things like that. This scary black bar 
is what you spend on things that no one ever, ever needs, like multiple magic sets, professional bass fishing equipment. How did you do this so fast? Is this PowerPoint? What's wrong with you? I don't know. It was a weird day. I accidentally cross-dressed. And then Daryl made me feel bad for not making any money. And then I had to ride up here with stupid Toby. And then your assistant was all young and hot. And I. Okay, Michael. I can offer you a 12% raise, but you have got to ask for 15. Well, that's ridiculous. I'm never going to make. No, it. just. I just need you to ask for it, so I can record that you asked for it. Ah, uh, so... All right, Levinson. Here's the rub. I would like a 15% raise. No, but we can offer you 12. But you just said 15. And then I just need you to sign here at this era. What kind of mortgage did you get? Uh, tenure. Well... 10 over 30, so 30 year total. What? What? You said 10. 10 year fixed, over 30, 30 year total. Oh, 30 years. Okay, okay. Wow, you'll be paying this off in your mid 70s. All right. <laughs> Forget about retiring when you're 65. Hey, I've got an idea. You know that extra bedroom? If the whole girlfriend thing never happens, that's where the nurse can live. Okay, all right. <sighs> Yeah, this is it. Uh, uh, Whenever you're ready. Yeah. Um. Oh. Oh. Okay. Is that supposed to come off? Hey, look. Cool. Actually, yeah. Carpenter ants. Um. I'm gonna take a little uh, breather for a second. Right. Excuse me. It'll be here waiting for you. Oh man. A 30-year mortgage at Michael's age essentially means that he's buying a coffin. If I were buying my coffin, I would get one with thicker walls so you couldn't hear the other dead people. Oh. Whenever you're ready, Michael. Oh. I already have the ring. Don't think you need the corpse then. There's a ring. Holy shit, is that real? Yeah. They say three years salary. Oh. Is she not gonna like that? No, so. she's gonna love it. Well, I just want to take a minute to talk to you all about something very serious. Once every hour, someone is involved in an internet scam. That man is Michael Scott. <laughs> He's supporting about 20 Nigerian princesses. <laughs> hey, you know what? Forgive me for caring, right? What am I doing? I am blowing Dodge. I'm getting out of town. Whatever you call it. I am running away from my responsibilities. Arm feels good. I hate disappointing just one person. And I really hate disappointing everyone. But I love Burlington Coat Factory. If you go in there for $645, you are literally a king. What did we learn this week? Well, one, thanks to me, my team is much, much faster at coming to decisions than I thought they would be. Number two, never buy a fur coat with a credit card until you absolutely have the money to pay for it. And three, you should know that some people think it's cool to throw buckets of fake blood on you as you are walking out of Burlington Coat Factory. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. You lied to us. Yep. I lied to myself, too. I'm not a millionaire. I thought I would be by the time I was 30, but I wasn't even close. And then I thought maybe by the time I was 40, but by 40, I had less money than when I was 30. Maybe by my 50s, I don't know. My money, my problems. I was never in this for the money. But it turns out that the money was an absolute necessity for me.